Okay guys, Sexy Manic Uncertainty here, and this is the second part of the chat tutorial series for Unreal Engine 4. So the first thing you're going to want to do uh, for this tutorial is, uh, first, if you didn't see the first one, check it out. Uh, link will be in the description for part one. Uh, and if you've already done part one, we can continue. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your, you know, game state blueprint. So if you don't have one, you're going to need to create one. Uh, and then obviously it doesn't need to create, uh, contain anything. But uh, we're going to have that there anyhow. So first thing you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to add a variable called um, chat log. Right? And this chat log is going to be set as a text. Uh, and it's going to be an array type. And it's going to be set to replicated and instance editable. So uh, also do expose on spawn if you like. Uh, I'm not sure that that's necessary, but that is uh, what I have. So that's all you need to do there uh, for this entire blueprint. So you can just close out of this for now. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to go into your UI chat log. And uh, you want to grab this button here, this send button you have, and you want to hit on clicked. Uh, so you're going to create an on click for it. Uh, so that when this button is clicked, what you want to do is first do a branch. So branch. And then you want to do an is server check. So if this is going to determine whether or not the player instance uh, being, you know, activating, clicking their button is the server or not. If they are the server, we're just going to go add, no, so we need to get, actually here, uh, we need the instance, so let's get the game state instance. So what we're going to do is, uh, so we don't need this thing here, so let's just actually delete this. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go to our event construct, and that's where we're going to create it. So we're going to go uh, first off down here get game game state uh, and then this is going to vary by what yours is so in my case uh, I have this IG state game state I've created uh, and we're going to go cast to and then the name of your game state don't do cast to game state cast to your custom you know custom named um, game state so you're going to do that you're gonna just connect to this in Connect to that. Uh, so now, as IG state, you're going to promote to a variable and you're going to call this GS, uh, as in, you know, game state. One sec. It appears I had a game state in here for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's just rename this one to GS. Right? Uh, and that's perfectly fine. So let's just come on and save that. And then now, down here, if that's true, you want to, um, first off, go get this game state here, and then you're going to go, so if true, and if it is the server, you're going to also go in here, and you're going to go get chat log. So that's going to get the chat log variable we've produced, um, and then here you're going to go add, so add a variable to it. Um, and this is going to be true. And then what we're going to add is we're going to get this editable text box, right? And we're going to go get text. We're just going to drag that one in. Now, we can just bring this back because we're going to have to use this on the other branch of this, uh, on the false branch. But for now, we're just going to have this here. Now, in our event tick, we need to do something else, which is we need to go and we need to um, get the game state. So, just drag over this game state and get the get the chat log. Just move this over, right? And we need to uh, actually create a variable in here called local local chat. Um, yeah. Now, local chat log is going to be a 
text array as well, just like the previous. Um, instance editable, expose on spawn as well. So, now you need to just, now that you got that, uh, you're going to compare these two against each other. So you're going to check them against one another. So you're going to get this one. And you're going to say, essentially, like, go like this and say for each of these items and then you're going to say uh, contains item so you're essentially uh, right here just checking against the list so you're saying does it contain the item and then I'll tell you what to do in a second so now you need a branch so branch um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to say if it does contain it so if that's true you don't need to do anything because it contains the item if it is false you need to um, add it so you need to add and this new array and then you're going to grab the local chat log and you're going to grab the item the array element from the for each loop uh, and that's it. And you're doing that because now you're going to get the array element, you're going to get the chat log, and you're essentially saying if it doesn't contain that, uh, this item of the public chat log, add it to your local chat log. Uh, and that should do it for that part. Let's just bring this over a bit. Make this a little bit more compact and neat. Okay, so now what should happen is if we play this right um, hopefully this works Let's just add some messages here right and uh, you know I don't know what that title is but whatever could have just been null uh, let's do this it's just gonna take a second uh, so we're gonna add and that should be fine. Now we can't obviously send messages from the client, as you can see, but from the server. Wait, what? Okay, this is what I didn't do here. So, um, what we need to do is we need to also add in a bit of code here. So, uh, after it adds, we need to get our scroll box, right? And this is editable, so we can then add child and this is going to be a bit weird if you haven't done this before but essentially first thing we want to do here is we want to create a widget and we're going to be creating a chat widget which is going to be one of those individual little chat box things and owning players going to get player controller as usual uh, and the message is going to be the item that we add right um, and then that's going to create this widget and what we're going to do is we're going to add that widget as the child of the scroll box and that should hopefully work just fine sorry about forgetting that that was my bad I'm trying to make this tutorial shorter so I don't I don't really want to mess up that much on this stuff. Okay, so let's try sending something now. Obviously it adds on this side and it adds on the other, so perfect. That is now working. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to have to change gears a bit and we're going to go into another blueprint, uh, which if you don't have one, you need to create a player controller blueprint called uh, you know, whatever you want. I called mine IGP controller, as in in-game player controller, uh, versus, you know, if you have a lobby player controller, something like that, if you want to build off, you know, you might have multiple. So this is, this is what you need in order to, you know, set it apart from the others, you know, so I just named it that. Uh, I'd suggest you do as well. So in here, uh, this is just a bit of code from, you know, the previous thing. This has some health stuff in it as well. Um, but what we're going to do in here has nothing to do with that. So we're gonna add something else. We're gonna add a custom event, and this is gonna be called um, We're gonna add a 
custom event in this game. We're uh, gonna add it. We're gonna add a custom event. So we're gonna add a custom event, and we're gonna call this add request request, and this is gonna be set to run on server. So that's the whole thing, and then we need an input, and this is just gonna be a string. And it's gonna be called message, and that is it. Now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to take this message and we need to essentially do the exact same thing as we did here. So, essentially, as you can see, uh, when we were adding these, if we were the server, we got this text, we added it in. Um, so, in this case, we can just, like, do exactly that. So, I won't copy and paste that because it's, uh, you know, teaches you more to do this. It's better practice. Um, so... You're gonna get the game state, and you're gonna get the chat log variable, right? Now, once you got all this, um, you're going to want to just slide this over, and you're going to now go in and you're gonna say add. You're gonna want to add something to it, obviously, uh, and then you're gonna go over like that, make this a little bit nice looking. Um, Neatness goes a long way in projects like this. It really does. Okay, perfect. So, this should add it. As you can see, it's the exact same as this one here. Hopefully that works. Adding the message. Um, so, now all we need to do, and I'll just make this full screen, I don't know why I didn't have it that way, but now all we need to do is, we have this add request, we have all this stuff, we can close this out. Um, now, we need to, first off, one sec, sorry about this, like, little bit of obsessive thing here. I'm just gonna move this over, I don't like that orientation that I had there. Could have looked better. Okay. Um... So, now that we have that all set up, if this is false, what we want to do is we want to go down here, and we want to go, well, first off, we need to create a cast here, so we're going to go, get player controller, get player controller, um, so just make sure you do that, and then you're going to cast to end whatever your player controller name is that you've created. So the blueprint name, in my case, was IGP controller. As I said, you should try doing the same thing for yours, just for practice, so you don't have any you know places where it really differs. That'll make it easier to have an error. Uh, so then that's gonna be PC because player controller. I like two uh, two letter abbreviations. It's just my thing. So that's uh it's for your player controller cast you got the player controller instance now what do you do well uh you're gonna want to go down into here and you're gonna want to get that player controller so get that and you're gonna want to um go off of this and say add request and you're just gonna connect these two it doesn't have to look perfect but you know you want some organization so Move this over. Move this one down. That's not good looking, but it's okay for now, I guess. It'll do. Um, so, that should work. Now, we're going to test this. It might not. Obviously, there are always errors in projects initially. But, let's hope it does. Okay, as you can see... 
Okay. Mm -hmm. We can still send a message on the server side, and now on the client side, it also works. So, uh, that was the second part of the chat tutorial series. If you liked it, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, give it a share, comment what you'd like in the future to see for Unreal Engine tutorials. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching. Uh, also, on tutorial three, uh, I'm going to be giving you guys some more advanced features, some other information, player names, stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Also follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Link will be in the description as with all the other stuff that you need. Peace out guys.